What's up YouTube, Mike here. It's good to see you guys again. Sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. It's been like, the pollen has been crazy outside. It's like springtime right now and I, I don't really enjoy this time of year because I can't really get outside with all my allergies. But we're doing an indoor photo shoot with an Audi R8 today. Should be fun. Let's go. All right, so what would normally happen is I would normally be recording with a Sony a6500. This is the Sony a6300. My wife's not with me today, so I'm just a one-man show today. So I've got this camera. I'm gonna be trying to record with this and shoot the, uh, the Audi R8 with this camera, doing both at the same time. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm just so so we're here at the warehouse. I'm just kind of waiting on my friend to get here. Uh, he said he should be here in about five minutes, and we'll go inside. All right, boys, here she is, 2017 Audi R8. This is the V10 model, I think, Fabio was saying. This has like 550 horsepower. You got $13,000 wheels down there. Look at this carbon fiber work on the side mirrors. We also got some carbon fiber right here, right here. The back wing, oh my gosh. Look at that engine. What do you guys think, Audi R8 or Lamborghini Huracan? Let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite? You guys, this is my friend Andrew. Give him a follow on Instagram. He's got some uh, some great photos. Big thanks to him for inviting me over here to yeah. shoot with him. I'm liking the industrial vibe we have here. The uh, These beams on the ceiling, I think, really kind of add to the uh, ambiance of the room. Plus, you got the reflections of all the lights. This kind of soft reflection right here, I think, looks, looks it doesn't look the best. So I've kind of like strayed away from getting shots of the R8 like head on right here, just because this is going to be really difficult to manage like in post processing. But all the other all the other reflections like this right here really adds some some really nice like uh what's the word uh like uh anyways it just looks good all right guys so what i'm doing right here i've got the uh a little bit of a foreground we've got the car in the mid ground here i like this uh i like the the ceiling right up here on top of the photo this car looks sick from this angle the uh the tires showing real nicely so i think this is gonna be a good shot All right, boys, we're about to give the audio cold start. Headphone users, fair warning right here. We've opened the garage up. We're gonna go outside and get some outdoor photos up uh, against, uh, I guess, the back of one of these warehouses out here. There's a, there's a bunch of brick. I, I think Andrew went and scoped out something in the very back here, but I don't, I don't think the R8 is gonna blend in very well with all this brick since it's red and the brick's kind of red as well. We'll see. All right, so we've lined the car up against this back wall that's gray, so the red's gonna stand out a lot more than it would, say, like over here. We also got this uh, kind of reddish orangish hand railing above there that kind of Shouldn't be a nice compliment to the uh, to the R8. All right, well, slight change of plans here. The uh, the sun was making some weird glares on uh, the angle we had the car out, so we're switching around. Guys, yeah, so basically we're doing the same thing with this angle we did before. I've got 50 mil back on, f 2.8, uh, one four thousandth of a second. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, ND filters for this lens, so uh, we're just kind of getting some some nice uh, back shots with some bokeh. I'm uh, gonna do the same thing for the front side. We'll see how they turn out here. All right, it is a couple days later, we are back in the apartment. I wanted to go over the photos we took while we were um, at this warehouse, but before, before I do that, I want to give a massive shout out to Fabio at Top Car Reps. He's the gentleman who, uh, who kind of owns this, this workshop and uh, he wraps cars for a living. He's very good. If you live in the Atlanta area and need a car wrap for any reason, he's one of the best from what I've heard. And looking at his work firsthand is very good. So I'll link his information right here and also down below. Check him out. Really nice guy too. That being said, uh, let's take a look at these photos because this is this is a very fun shoot. These these first couple of photos that I took were inside, and it was it was kind of cluttered. Like he had two cars going on. He he had two cars that he was working on inside, and there's stuff all over the floor, all over the walls. This was the best angle that I could get this first shot at right here. Coming to the other side, um, looking at the looking at the wall on, I guess the left hand side if you're looking at the photo this way. Uh, too much clutter over there. So so this is the best angle to get the car out inside. 
and um, I love the architecture on the ceiling, even though it's just kind of like, you know, steel rafters or whatever. Um, I think it added like this industrial vibe to it. And in editing this photo, I was kind of going for a high key look. So I kind of made everything a little bit brighter in the room, desaturated everything a lot, added some clarity in the front part of the car to make it stand out a little bit more. I like this edit a lot. There is this, um, this Jeep door on the right hand side of the photo that I thought about trying to take out in Photoshop and I've tried to take things out like this before and it just it never turns out well so I was like I'm not going to waste my time doing this. Um, so anyways we have we have a uh, random door of a Jeep in the photo as well but uh, I don't think it detracts from the photo all that much. Moving on to the next one this is again indoors. Second shot that I got indoors. I, I like this is I think this is my favorite shot of the evening right here. You have a very tight angle in on the car. This is a 50 millimeter f 2.2 or f 2.0, one of those, I forget. So the front end is really in focus, the back end is not. You have like this great, this focus gradient going down from the front of the car to the back. Again, we have a high key look in the background. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know, I like how this looks a lot. This R8 is a sick car. Oh, and the wheel, I like how the wheels turned. Kind of get a nice look of the wheel looking down the, the front side of the car. Okay, this next shot this is the first shot we got outdoors. So I got a little bit lower to the ground on this one. It was extremely bright outside. This was at like 1.30 in the afternoon so that the sun was you know the sunlight was in full force the shadows were terrible the highlights were terrible it was very very difficult editing all the outdoor shots in Lightroom but I was finally able to get a look that I that I kind of liked I desaturated the the surroundings the, the the sky the trees desaturated those a lot added a bit more saturation to the red some clarity on the car just to make it stand out some more um, not a bad shot not my favorite but this next one is kind of going along the line, the same lines as the second shot we got indoors, looking down the front side of the car. Fairly wide aperture, I think it was f2.2 or 2.8, I, I don't know, I, I could only open up the aperture so much outside since I didn't have an ND filter. I really need to get an ND filter for my 50mm, but uh, I don't know. I like this shot as well, again, everything outside was super bright so I desaturated everything. I think I remember bringing up the blacks a little bit more in this shot than the others. Kind of, I kind of wish we could turn the front wheels into the car so you could see it looking from the front like we did for the indoor shot, but, uh, but that's okay. All right, last and final shot we got outside was this one from the back. I like this shot a lot too. You get a nice detailed look at the, uh, the back wing of the car. I put a little bit of clarity on the back end as well to make it pop out a little bit more. Again, desaturated the surroundings a lot. Yeah, I like this angle of the car too. Again, I wish the wheels were turned, but, but that's okay. Next time. The pollen was kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys zoom in, you can see the car had been outside for maybe 20 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes, and it was nice and clean inside. After the 20 or 30 minutes we had shot outside, the, the, the car was just covered in pollen. It was, it was crazy. And it, it's funny, you know, like at the beginning of the video I said, you know, I can't go outside all that much right now with it being pollen season and we end up going outside, but it wasn't for very long, so that's all right. But this shot's pretty cool. I, li I like this one. Which shot do you guys like the most? The, uh, the indoor shots, this one, this one, or the outdoor shots, this one, this one, or this one. So let's do this. Let's say this is number one, this shot's number two, this shot's number three, this shot's number four, and this one's number five. Comment below, tell me what you, tell me which shot you guys like the most. That being said, I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the, uh, the YouTube algorithm tremendously. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.